Thank you for joining us here on Brave New Hollywood. I am excited to have a couple of unique music superstars, international superstars, and literally a couple. The very talented Andy Madadian and Shaney Rigsby are my guests today. And we are going to talk about a special song they've written for the upcoming ESX Entertainment Lionsgate film, American Fighter. And the song is called The Good Fight. How are you guys? How are you? Peaceful. Good, good. Um, how has is, how is creativity and life been during the pandemic? Well, let her start. Ladies first. Uh, well, it's been very creative around here. In the beginning, it was, it was honestly kind of somber for obvious reasons, and we tried to just absorb. But over time, it became very creative because we're home, and um, we have a small studio set up at home. So there was a lot of material to draw from and write about, and it's been good. That's amazing. That's amazing. Well, obviously for us, because most of our lives we've been traveling, touring and concerts and here and there and everywhere and all that. And this is uh, the first time we get to stay home indefinitely. Mm -hmm. And it's an interesting feeling. First, you think, okay, I think I have forever time to myself and I can rest for a minute. And that rest for a minute was just so unbelievable because we never had that feeling. So as musicians and who always want to be in the studio to create and all that, this was the, a gift for mm -hmm. as much as it's a horrible situation outside in the world, but we were careful. We stayed in quarantine and we took care of the health stuff, uh, but it gave, gave us time to be creative. And I think between both of us, we have recorded maybe 30 songs and she has a full album, I have a full album and we're ready and psyched up to come out. Wow. Wow, that's amazing. And I know later down the line, we're going to talk about both of your careers and your albums. I know you have, you have exciting things coming up. Um, I wanted to focus today on the song that you've written for the movie American Fighter. The song is called The Good Fight. Can you tell us how the song came about? How did it, this happen? Well, you know, we worked on the first film, which was called American Wrestler. We did the theme song for that. Um, I co-wrote that with Jamie Christopherson, which is uh, uh, the the um, did the score for that film. And when they made the plan to do the to do a sequel, um, I was just kind of keeping tabs on the behind the scenes posts that were happening during filming. Mm -hmm. And George Costoros is a good friend, and so following a lot of his stuff where they were showing behind the scenes of him fighting. And it's a lot of street fighting, right? That's the, the concept. Uh, but it's not about it's not about you know bullying and fighting and arrogance and all that. It's it, there's a purpose behind it. And so to me, that concept of the good fight came to me right away. And I just sort of started getting ideas about it, um, and then asked to see the footage, and kind of was able to develop the whole the whole thing. That's amazing. So you guys do get to see some footage, so you have some idea what to write about, right? Since Andy is the is the singer, is the vocalist, and you are you are a married couple, um, I assume you sort of write to his voice, right? Andy has the very unique and I, I want to say rock and roll voice. Okay, even though he sings in Farsi, English, Armenian, uh, is that what happened? Yeah, you know, it's interesting because. Uh... This has only happened a couple of times, I think, where I wrote something um, 
that wasn't meant for me to sing alone, if that makes sense. Um, I knew when I was writing it, it wasn't going to be for me. Uh, so it was kind of trying to get inside of the head of how a, a male would sound and what he would say, not what I would say as a female, right? Also knowing the character of, of who George is playing, it has to be his point of view. So I'm kind of writing for two men in a way, you know, knowing that it's the point of view of the character, but it's also the person that's going to be delivering that message has to make sense. And um, I didn't worry so much about the key and all of that kind of stuff, because that's something we collaborated on as the song progressed. But the initial writing was just trying to come from a male point of view, which was tricky. Gotcha. The song, the song was is written for a tenor, and uh, uh, you have to have almost two octave of range to sing it. I think she was trying to torture me, <laughs> and basically she achieved it because huh? it's a very tough song to sing. You have to have a high range, and I'm I'm trying to crack jokes about it, but I loved it because. I, I love all the lows that happens in the songs and the, all the highs because number one, that's the essence of the movie. A calm person like George in, in the character is forced to go and fight to survive and to raise money to bring her his mom from Iran. And so all of that you can hear in my voice mm -hmm. uh, and the range of it. I think that's the uh, magnificent writing skill that Shaney has. When she writes, she demands that you perform. Heartache with fire is my strength and desire. Calling, hey, number one, here's your red light. actually right in saying I have a rock voice because I grew up with rock music mm -hmm. and uh, although when I do Persian and Armenian I take the softer side of music because Middle Easterners um, like more pop music than rock music although through this song we're finding out that there are so many Middle Easterners who are really into rock and grunge and metal and all that stuff which is fantastic. And, and so for me, it was like coming home, singing. Yeah, kind of full circle. <laughs> yeah, I grew up with Deep Purple and Led Zeppelin and that kind of music. And this definitely brought me back home. And uh, let's let's talk about directing. You guys went be beyond recording the song. Uh, Shane, you, what, what was that like? Yeah, it was cool. We Same thing on the previous song on Rise for the, for the earlier film. Uh, I directed that too, which it was not like when I sat down to write the songs, I was like, I'll be directing those videos. But um, I think when you just get so close to the project, you know, you because writing for the film means you already know that story, you know, the messaging, you know, the themes, you don't have to interpret on video. How are we going to do, you know, it's already in the song. So it was already about kind of figuring out how should this be presented and so when this one uh, came about, we already we knew we wanted to use the you know pieces of the film footage, but we discussed. Um, I discussed with Andy about how, you know what's the best way to present this, and I think he thought going to a UFC fighting location would be a good location to to do that in. And then we got a phenomenal DP who is Eduardo Ramirez Gonzalez who is actually co-directing this along with me. And I would say it was really a collaboration because honestly, not to go off on a tangent, but directing music videos is very different from directing films. Directing films, it's a director's medium. You know, as an actor, you show up and you do what they tell you to do. Directing music videos is really, um, it's two-sided two because the artist on the screen, it's, it's their delivery, it's their medium you know so you can't just go in as a director and i want this and i want that the, the artist really needs to be on board you know um and i think andy was very you know uh trusting of what 
Eduardo and I were seeing and wanted to do, but he also has great ideas. He's done a thousand of these, right? So it was, it was a great, super teamwork. Mm -hmm. And, um, and, you know, George was there. So yeah, a lot of things were already predetermined for us. Like, George is going to be in the video. Right. And <clears throat> George is a great actor. In the movie, he shines. He's like the Iranian Rocky. <laughs> and Cheney's vision was, let's kind of blur the space between the movie and the video. A lot of times, you don't know when George is in, in the scene, whether that's the music video or the movie, because the music video and the movie become one. That that was, I think, the best decision that Shaney made. Right. Um, before I let you guys go, Andy, I want to touch quickly on, we're going to talk about this, I know, Andy, but I wanted to quickly touch on a very special event that happened here, all kind of before the pandemic, and that was you, an Iranian star, an international star with an Iranian Armenian heritage, getting a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Can you, you know, if you can recall, can you tell me what that day was like for you? What was that feeling? Um, I couldn't tell you one feeling. It was a um, combination of thousands of feelings because as you said, as an Iranian, as an Armenian, and as an American, there's so many layers of emotions in cultural sense and in achievement sense. And all of them are there uh, in front of you with thousands of people coming out to support you. Uh, it, it was an unbelievable day. I think that's one day that I realized Yes, I have achieved something because I've had a lot of number one albums and great tours and success thanks to our fans and stuff. But this was uh, this was the city of Hollywood, a, an important city to me because I grew up with Hollywood movies, even being in Iran, watching Hollywood movies and American culture and loving it. And now I'm part of it. That was a great feeling. Well, I think that does it for us. I wanted to thank you for joining me on Brave New Hollywood, Andy Madadian, Shaney Rigsby, and I look forward to speaking with you very soon. Thank, thank you. you. We do too. We love you, Andy. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye.